How do you know the God of the Bible is the true God and not one of the 1,000 other gods? The problem with it is that thinking the God of the Bible has the same definition, same qualifications as these thousands of other gods. And that's just not true. The God of the Bible is a monotheistic God, is the creator of the heavens and the earth, is self-reliant, self-existent. These thousands of other gods are not. Generally, these thousands of other gods are created deities, and therefore it's much easier to reject a created deity because they're created and they have an origin and therefore they don't qualify being respected as or worshipped as God. That's very different than if somebody were to ask the question, how do you distinguish between the God of the Bible and then, or the God of Christianity, the God of Judaism, and the God of Islam, who are all the creators, the originators of the universe, they're self-existent, um, you know, these are the qualifications, these are the sorts of qualifications that go into defining them as God. Um, and, uh, and then you can go through that sort of an argument as to why you would think so. I would say the resurrection is one of the best uh, reasons why I would go with the God of Christianity because the resurrection provides all the kind of logical deductions from it. This specific argument, how do I know the God of the Bible is true and all these other gods uh, aren't, is because all these other gods are created deities. So therefore, they're not God. It's not a complicated one. By the way, you could say 1,000, you can say 5, you can say 8 million, you can say 300 million. It doesn't matter. Having many of them doesn't complicate this because they all fall into the same, they, they all, all of those fall into one category. So in reality, these thousands and millions and hundreds of millions of gods or whatever the argument might be from people, you're actually talking about like three, four different things. You know, gods that are created, gods that are uncreated, you know, the universe being God or something like that. So you're generally talking about categorically, you're talking about like three, four different things, not hundreds of thousands of things, which is, it's a tactical thing within the question trying to overwhelm you. Like, how, you've never read about all these like village deities and all this stuff. It's like, how can you make up your mind on stuff you've never read about? It's like, because I categorically reject the idea of created deities. I categorically reject the idea that we ought to worship things that have an origin, that began to exist, that are limited in power, that don't have enough power, don't have enough knowledge, don't have enough goodness to regulate, rule, run, create the universe. It's very simple. Don't get tricked by hundreds of millions. It doesn't matter. It's still in the same category. Yeah.